Morning Atlantis. This is Beyonce. Sandy, Chris, Doug, and Rex, you inspire all of us to dare to live our dreams, to know that we're smart enough and strong enough to achieve them. This song is especially for my girl Sandy and all the women who've taken us to space with them and the girls who are our future explorers. This uh, flight day nine is literally the bonus day that was added to this mission by the mission management team earlier in the week uh, as a result of the ability of Atlantis uh, to have generated enough cryogenic oxygen and hydrogen for its power producing fuel cells to gain a bonus day on orbit. The day will be well spent. Uh, this is a critical day of transfer activity uh, for Atlantis's astronauts as they continue to move uh, the better part of five tons of supplies from the Raffaello multipurpose logistics module over to the International Space Station to stockpile the station for the next 12 months or so. Just uh, as they were operating it uh, this past Monday to install the module for the beginning of transfer operations, uh, Raffaello will uh, be loaded up uh, over the weekend. Uh, its hatch will finally be closed uh, late in the day on Sunday, and uh, the stage will be set for it to be demated from Harmony and placed back into the cargo bay of Atlantis on Monday in advance of Atlantis's undocking from the International Space Station, which is scheduled for Tuesday morning at 1.28 a.m. Central Time, 2.28 a.m. Eastern Time, the final undocking of a space shuttle from the International Space Station to complete the 37th and final visit of a space shuttle to the International Outpost. This video shot by Satoshi Furukawa this morning of uh, the cramped uh, conditions in the permanent multipurpose module, formerly known as Leonardo, which was delivered uh, to the International Space Station on the STS-133 mission a few months ago. The PMM, as it is called, is berthed uh, to the Earth-facing side of the Unity Connecting Node, which uh, links the U.S. and Russian segments of the International Space Station to one another. The uh, PMM, designed as a storage closet uh, and a logistics depot, is now almost crammed uh, to the brim. You heard Sandy Magnus refer to that uh, during one of her interviews yesterday with the news media. Uh, there are a variety of bags uh, containing logistics and supplies uh, that now reside in the PMM. Again, this video uh, taken earlier today by Satoshi Furukawa. You're watching Expedition 28 flight engineer Sergei Volkov as he uh, performed uh, in-flight maintenance to a bulky gyroscope and its associated cable in the treadmill vibration isolation system. Uh, his work uh, proved successful as the uh, gyroscope spun up appropriately, and uh, that will be the forerunner for the uh, TVIS device, as it is known, uh, to be put bat back in action uh, to uh, support uh, exercise by the uh, station crew members. Again, one of several such exercise devices available for the crew aboard the International Space Station. Atlantis Houston, air to ground two, for engineering purposes, com check through Mila. Hey Houston, uh, air to ground two, we have you loud and clear through Mila. Hey, uh, while we have you through Mila, we just want to give a shout out to the folks who work uh, both there and at PDL. Uh, you guys have been providing service to the shuttle program for years and years. I understand Mila was built back in 1966, and uh, PDL was added on uh, after the shuttle program came about. I understand also Mila is going to be de decommissioned after this flight. For all the folks that work there and for all the shuttle missions that you've supported throughout the years, uh, we thank you very much.